Hello everyone and welcome to the very, well, <laughs> the second episode of our Hardcore Paladin series. Today we are playing our Paladin. We are currently at level 4, our Undying One. This will be the very first Hardcore at 60 Paladin that we're going to be creating here. Uh, and kind of streaming from start to finish. And we're going to be dungeoning and doing raids on this Paladin. So... A quick background from episode one we started a high elf paladin because of the mana we plan to heal during dungeons uh you know tank on the way leveling process and then heal end game with the opportunity not to be in the front but you know in the back position kind of behind everyone just in case uh kind of play it safe and we'll, we'll kind of see how level 60 goes later on uh we currently have no professions we are leveling as hardcore so if we die we are not able to rejoin the world of the living. Uh, that's all right here within the quest book. Hardcore, upon your death, your spirit is lost to the Twisty Nether. Essentially, you do have to log out. You get auto-clicked within two minutes. We do also have the slow and steady. So all of our experience that we get from kills is reduced by 50%. And we still get 100% experience within dungeons. So dungeons are kind of like the nice thing to be doing. And we currently have no profession. So you can kind of see there's there's players here that send their pets out here. Um, but we're going to be continuing from our quest. We just got ported to Goldshire. So we're going to turn in this quest here. Port to Goldshire. And then what we're going to be doing here is picking up every single quest within this area. I'm just going to be running around here, here for just a few minutes. Probably not even a few minutes here. Just kind of running around. And you can see how there's hunters that send their pets in here to kind of attract players to Hello. hit it either intentionally or an accident. And while we are not flagged, if for whatever reason our character decides to kind of swing and hits an object that is flagged or buffs someone that is flagged, then hey we will become flagged, Same right? So we obviously don't want to do that. What, what quest is this? Oh, it's a cluck quest. That's why. Okay. Okay, now we can do the Goldshire quest, but because we're hardcore and we are leveling slow and steady, I'm gonna go ahead and pick these quests up, but I'm going to be heading back to the starting zone of Goldshire within Northshire Abbey. And I'm gonna go ahead and start those initial quests because while this stuff is sending me down here, level six and seven and level six and seven, I'm not at that level yet. And there's quests from Northshire that send me down to Goldshire that kick off a chain of events down here. So I obviously uh, want to do that chain. I'm going to head back over here to uh, Northshire and begin taking these monsters on. Now we're going to be doing some videos on some macros and such, but I did create a few macros. Uh, go to our macros tab. Number one macro that I found here is for the experience if you guys are interested in you know if you guys are watching this on the repeat you know i really appreciate that remember to go down below get this video a like and subscribe for future content uh, but we click on this button right here and at the bottom it displays let's go ahead and just make this uh, font size let's go ahead and make it big font size 18. oh yeah that's gonna be gigantic font size probably not that big uh, let's go 16. Eh, that's not that bad. So you're going to see like there's a 16 font size here. Uh, tragedy occurred. Level 11 just died to a level 10. Uh, but if we click this little button right here, it's going to show us how much rested experience we have in bubbles. And in total experience that we can accumulate with rested. We also just made an auto attack macro. So as soon as we hit 1, we begin target. to kind of target the first hostile mob next to us. And then begin to attack something? it. I'll go ahead and show that here. And then the second macro is number two. That's just a judge. And if we're if we have a judge, if we have a seal of the righteousness, then we will judge. If we do not have a seal of the righteousness, then we will cast seal of the righteousness. So How it just kind of checks 
Have a good that way I'm not spamming seal the Whoopsie. See, just like that. I did not intentionally mean to hit that critter. But if for whatever reason, say there was a flagged player right there, that would have flagged me. And they would have probably been like really close to me. And took it took took me out, right? So we have to be careful. Good we do have to, to be careful on our adventure. I feel like that's gonna be the most um the most accidental thing that we can do is accidentally hit somebody. Now, as far as professions go, paladins can have what two, three three good professions, right? Uh, alchemy for paladins, or for most classes, is like the top top hardcore profession. Alchemy allows you to get elixirs while you're leveling that increase your defense, your strength, your uh, your regeneration of health, mana potions, health potions, swift potions. Like there's a potion for swimming, bubbles. There's all sorts of potions. Like it's literally the number one uh, profession you can have as a hardcore character. Now, number two profession would be engineering. Engineering is going to allow you to have training dummies. It's going to allow you to have bombs that allow you to stun. And for paladins, they are able to judge um, if you hit a stun target with your seal of command or judge of command then your judge does double damage uh, to a stun target, so that's always really nice for end game. But during the leveling process, engineering isn't going to have a ton of stuff. It's mostly just that training dummy, and and I think that's it for that quest. Okay, what's over here? Oh, we have to take out these kobolds. Yeah, of course. Um, so while... So what I was wanting to say here is taking out monsters like this isn't going to render us the most experience in the game, but completing quests is able to render us experience. And on Turtle World Warcraft, you're able to get experience up to 25 levels, uh, 25, yeah, levels of the quest. So the quest is a level one quest from this training, this starting area. And you complete it at level 24 you're still going to get a hundred percent of the experience that you would otherwise get at level one right but you don't get like nerfed experience just because you did it out of the out of the main leveling zone this is just to kind of help players that are do that are taking the slow and steady get the full amount of experience that they can get I can't pass that yet and and then the third profession, I know it kind of took a little bit of a... Hey, look, a squirrel. And the third best profession for paladins are blacksmithing. We're able to make sharpening stones, we're able to make armor, we're able to make weapons along the way. So as a hardcore paladin, we might be doing dungeons to get better gear, but there's not always going to be that opportunity to get gear from quests, uh, from dungeons and such. Uh, I'm gonna run over here and do this quest as well really quickly. No, you know what? What if there's something, I'm gonna turn these in real quick. It's telling me to turn it in anyway. So let's go ahead and turn this in real quick. Hey there. And we get some wrist. Yeah. Safe travels. Let's go ahead and adjust this contrast real quick. Um, there we go. Get a little bit darker. I think that's what we wanted. Um, let's see here. Now we are level 5 now, but at level 5, there's still- oh, we got a bag. Now if we hit double tap, there we go. 
let's go ahead and sell some of these items really quickly because honestly we don't need many of these items here yeah. whoops hey look i buffed something that is this behind the shop i hope so oh it looks like it's inside there dang it Looks like it's inside of the walls there. Okay, so let's make sure. Oh, see my, uh... There we go. My F buttons weren't working to, like, hit myself F1. There we go. Okay, so this is just having us go to the Paladin. What can I do for you? Quest trainer. And these are all quests. These are all experiences and reputation. Reputation with Stormwind is always good. Lowers your mount cost, but as a paladin, I do get a free mount. So there's nothing crazy biggy. Um, okay, let's take a look. Okay, let's go ahead and do the kobold workers real quick. Yeah. Uh, so, honestly, between the two, three options, right? Alchemy, engineering, and blacksmithing. Alchemy... I'm pretty sure I can find potions along the way, such as health potions, mana potions. Uh, I do plan to buy about four or five swift potions. Those are going to be super useful. Oh wait, I need to take out workers. Uh, I'm going to buy about five swift potions. I can always buy more along the way. But, you know, alchemists will always have swift potions or something, right? I'll always be able to buy with potions from alchemist uh the other elixirs they're not going to make or break you know having that slightly more armor from an armor elixir or 120 more health from an elixir um that's not gonna i'm not always going to have an elixir to be able to pop because it's not a permanent fix and solution uh, a lot of those potions I, I honestly don't think they're going to make or break the game uh, the swift potions are going to be the most beneficial to me, and I can just buy those from other players. Uh, engineering. Training dummies are going to be useful. It's going to be very situational. And... I don't know, honestly. I, I, I If I've... I've used them in the past. I've been in engineering in the past, and I've never found a time where I'm so thick in the deep of it that I have to drop a, a training dummy, right? I can always bubble in with a swift potion to start running for my life with the swift potion. Um, that takes care of that. And that's just a battered quest, okay. And this one in real quick. What the heck, there we go. I can't cast that yet. Um, ooh, look at that. Someone got taken out. Level 34 got taken out. What the heck is Milk Fallen? Who are they? Who is Mubala? And Stone Talon? Who, what the heck is a Milk Fallen Dying? I wonder if that's that boss. What if that's the elite spider that I remember in Stone Talon? Oh, the den is death. Oh, so there is a den quest over there. I'm gonna reduce this text once again. I don't know if the profanity goes through that. I'm sure it does. I mean, if it's in the chat, it obviously went through the profanity filter. So yeah, look at this. There's tons of people dying since we've logged on. Whoops, I'm slowing now. Let's go. What am I doing? Okay. Yeah, there's two that died right there. A couple that have hit multiple levels. There's an oh level 42 died right there. So green scale vein. Okay, what do I have to do here? Labors, okay. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just chomp down on some cobalt labors. What is this? I'm not sure. It's the cobalt labor. Okay, it already has it at the top. Part. Puts it right up at the top for me. 
I'm out of range. I think there's another one. Charging. That spell oh, isn't ready yet. Uh, that's the other quest from um, Bullshire itself. Right, I don't think there's a quest back here for me. Oh, somebody died in here. I don't know how you died to yellow mobs. Like, you're, you're fighting yellow mobs. So it's not like they're going to attack you on their own accord. There goes some more deaths right there. That's still recharging. Natural death, natural causes is uh, fall damage or well, breathing underwater and getting stuck underwater. That's crazy. Anybody back here? No, there's nothing back here. Huh. Yeah, nothing back there. Oh, there's one. There's a snuffle snout. I don't need him. He's back there. He must be like a future quest. I just don't need him right now. There's so many people dying right now. People dying at level 11. Let's see what level we get to. That is going to be the coolest thing. Let's see if we can hit 60. We will not die. We are the undying anyway, right? We're the undying one. If I die, I guess I'll make undying too. <laughs> Hey, got another bag. Bam. Bag squeeze. Bag space increase. Right there. Got two thousand. That's ready yet. We're level five. We got almost all of our bags, right? How much more bags? We can get two more bags on this. And this is linen, so honestly, we, we probably won't increase our. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that spell isn't ready yet. That spell isn't ready. Oh, yet. Look at those bags. I I just need one more bag to complete my. I can't cast that yet. That spell isn't ready yet. But you know what? I'm not seeing target of target. I just noticed I'm not seeing the target of my target. Pretty sure that's in here. It should be like target of my target. Back on assist. On cast. Where's target of target? Show target of target always. There we go. Show castable buffs. I think that's uh, that's good. There we go. I can't cast that and we can do this. There we go. I can't cast that yet. And what's this thing called over here? Like the hit swing timer? Hit swing. Okay, this quest is complete. Let's get out of here. Let's get dazzled. Boy, I cannot wait for the increased speed. But that's retribution. We probably won't have that. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have access to my talents, I think, until level 10. But that's going to be quite a bit. But look at that. We're almost level 6 now. Desolence is very good as Horde, Ally have just one camp on the north. It's true. That is true. Horde does like a, a center camp. It has one by the ocean. And yeah, like the whole south there, like part of the Desolence is essentially. See, now we got a quest to go to Goldshire. Be careful. Be careful. Okay, now we have to go take out Snuffle Snout. And... Yeah, we'll go take out Snuffle real quick. And then we'll go over here and do the bandana. And then we'll see where it goes. To. It goes from there. 
These guys give quests. We're just kind of whack these guys out of the way. As we're kind of going along, I guess, you know, taking out bad guys isn't going to give us the Mac experience. But it allows us to do something along the way. I can't cast that yet. So as we're kind of running, we're still kind of getting some experience there. That's still recharging. We're just gonna do that. Whatever we can take out along the way, we'll take it out along the way. That spell isn't ready yet. That's still recharging. Whoa! That was a miss. And we do this. There we go. Wing timer's up. And so Mr. Snuffle should be down here. Level 60. Let's invite this guy to our party. here first I have no idea as long as we don't hit like a flag die I can't attack that target I can't, I can't attack, attack that nothing target. I can't attack nothing oh boy you gotta stand still right here Whoop. That spell is oh, they got it. the wheat Small wooden hammer. Um, point six. Is that mail? Is that better than mine? Nope. Nope. All that is not an upgrade. Copper. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Did he run back? Yeah, he must have. Okay, yeah. Uh, so what I'm planning on anyways is I do plan on becoming a blacksmith. I do plan on becoming a blacksmith just because... Oh, there he is right here. Get him. That's still recharging. How am I recharging? There we go. Got the quest for the other guy, too. And I got the uh, candle. Well, there's like a fireball through the wall. Too busy kinking horde normie. He must have got the quest, because uh, I, I took out the guy. This is actually going to level us level 6, and we'll be able to train level 6 abilities. I forgot what we get at level 6, but... Yeah, we should be able to train near level 6 now. That's still recharging. Dude, that swing timer is so long. Go ahead and level six, and we'll go train our abilities. Oh, we gotta pick out some armor. I like how like you hit complete lines. Oh, what did I get? Okay, I did select them. Oh, somebody died in here. Yeah, see that graveyard for that gravestone? Greetings. That means somebody died in here. Holy, holy light level two and seal of command, seal of the crusader. So essentially, junky stuff. And look at this. Our expressed experience is at six of bubbles already. That's crazy. I'm gonna bring that down. And what was what was the other thing? The other crusader. Essentially a dead seal. <laughs> I don't know very many people that you sealed the crusader while leveling. Is that better than ours? No. 
Oh, there's a body in the water. That's funny. I can't cast that yet. Dodged it, just like a champ. I like that these guys don't run. I thought there was a quest to pick up these, uh... These, whatever they are, pumpkins, berries, something. Still gonna take out a few of these thugs. Maybe get another bag along the way. I think we only need one more bag, right? Yeah, we only need one more six slot bag. Bam, 46. I can't cast that yet. And halfway there. That spell isn't ready yet. around level 10 or 12 there is another ability that we get that makes our auto attack stronger so this is the vanilla plus server so uh they they added items for paladins such as holy strike and crusader strike i'm not sure at what level crusader strike is added in but it is an ability that is added in later two more of these guys and then we're out of here. Nope, mine. And this last one right there. That spell isn't ready yet. Yeah, you always want to hit first with your auto attack. They kind of hit that initial hit. And then once you've hit with your seal of righteousness, then just kind of judge afterwards. We'll pull that one. Nope. Astro. Ben. Oh wow, thirty warrior already. I think I saw them last time we streamed. Is that yesterday? It may have been yesterday, but they were they were level like eleven or so. They've been blasting off for a while now. How are you? Okay, we got a new weapon, right? Main hand, two hand. It's not actually better than ours. Wow. Okay, there's a replacement there for either a sword or a mace. Um, both exactly the same. I always like swords. See you around. Yeah, swords are always pretty what nice. Are you looking for? Is that better than mine? No. There we go. And I got another quest right here. Hello. Two quests. Safe travel. What can I do for you? See you later. Okay, got a quest. Is that inside the building or outside the building? Looks like it's outside the building. Let's run around the back side here. And so the quest they get Garrick's head. Okay. I thought I remembered something over that way. I wasn't sure what it was. I thought it was something to pick up, like pies, like berries, or whatever's in those buckets. It just seems like there's a quest out there for those buckets. Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. Hey there. And harvest, merely bring eight crates. Yep, that was the quest. Takes takes us back to some old memories. See, look at this guy. He's selling elixirs of agility, elixirs of greater defense, of great elixirs of fortitude. Yeah, see, that's that potion. 120 health for one hour. It's too far away. 
That's good. That's a good elixir right there. Those are really nice to have. Especially if you're like tanking dungeons stuff. That extra 120 life. Basically double my life right there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get eight of these. Is there a wolf around here? I did not see a wolf. I did not see a wolf anywhere. That's interesting. That one didn't get collected. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, see, now it disappeared. Let's go ahead and pick up these, and then we have to go get somebody's head, which is right back there. Level 5. He has 102 life. We do have potions, so... We can main focus him, and then I think he has, hopefully, maybe maybe one guard or something. Uh, looks like he has one guard over there. That's still and that's, that completes this. Let's do this here. Let's go run this way. And looks like he has. Okay, he just has the one guard. So we can focus him. He's level 5, his guard's level 4. I think we should be good. Go ahead and run in. We'll hit him with our auto attack. Judge. We'll just auto attack this guy down. Switch to this guy. We'll auto attack, judge. Finish him off with the next auto. And we're out of here. Got the head. Completed all our quests. Yep, let's get out of here. I need what the heck? I just something. killed a deer. That sounded like a cow. That is funny. Took out a deer. Sounded like a cow. What is going on? Sixteen experience. Sixteen experience. Got one bubble of rusted experience left. That is crazy. Good day to you. Good day to you. See you later. See you later. Okay. Uh, got two more quests to turn in. This is just experience, experience, right? See if I have any more tea here. Yep, I do have some tea left, and I'm not choking. That's always a okay. So this quest must be upstairs. That's the only place I can see. I did run right by the actual quest. So it must be upstairs in the attic. Of course, this is a game of running. You need something? The running simulator. Oh, you get to pick something. You get to pick a cape or a belt. I don't have a belt. Have a good one. My very first belt. Oh, yes. Oh, that's not a wall. That's a wall. And how do we get out here? Much this way. There we go. Okay, we have a quest right here to turn in. That's that guy's head. You. And we can pick up. Honestly, nothing is better. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up the Same layer track. tunic because I believe that one probably has the most experience. Uh, not experience, but just the most sell value. This quest here, lucky coin. I got a mount at level 24. Hello. Also, coin in the trade district. Okay. That's inside Stormwind. We're gonna run in the Stormwind too and get blacksmithing and mining. Because as we begin our adventure in Goldshire, we want to be able to track How are you? and mine copper. Yeah, copper is the very first thing we're gonna get. 
And now it's sending us down to Goldshire, but we're gonna go ahead and pull over these things. Level six, whoops. I'm gonna try and take a little bit of a shortcut through here to get the Stormwind. There's a couple quests I think in Stormwind we can do. Um, I mean, look at, there's already a few quests down there as well. I have to watch where I'm going. Dodge it, dodge it. I'm gonna run through here. Oh, there's a chest right there. Yeah, it was this guy, Hardcore. No, he's a newcomer. Ah, oh, boy, look at that. There's a chest right there. It's probably a good item, too, like a green. I can't cast that thing. But of course, I'm not going to get it because I would die trying to get that thing. I could probably take on two of these guys at once. But knowing my luck, one of them would start stabbing me and stunning me. Hey, I can talk and kill chat now. Sweet. Made a little shortcut across here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into Stormwind. We have a quest to do our lucky drop. We're going to pick up a couple quests in here and knock them out real fast. Um, here's in the light. I think that's a paladin quest. So we're going to pick up um, first aid, blacksmithing, and mining. We have 10 silver. He's a hardcore player. As a druid, riding his level 40 mount, kind of cool. Wow, that guy's fast. There's a tent right here. Honestly, it would be nice to just kind of sit right here and watch my bubble go higher, but uh, we're on a bit of a time crunch right now. But I do want to get a number of these items complete. Because we did that initial portion out in Elwyn, right? We did the Northshire quest. And now we're doing the initial stuff. You know, getting... Getting the long-term stuff. So our blacksmithing, our mining, our first aid. First aid is going to be useful when we're bubbling. And we may not have a health potion or the combination of bandaging first. And then at the... You know, towards the end, using that potion. Because uh, potion's instant, right? But it makes sense just to use your uh, bandage first during that time frame that you can't, and then. So what's this? Purchase. Well, okay. Making a special purchase. Wow, twenty silver. Very good. Hey. That requires you. twenty silver, and this requires nothing. Away. Okay. Wait, I can't do this other quest. That thing takes 20 silver. I'm not gonna pay for 20 silver. Go ahead and just forget that quest. Hello. And grab this one. See you around. Lucky coin. We have to go over here to the well. And do I tap over here and just touch the coin? There we go. Touch the coin. And looks like there's a quest. I don't have anything in my bank. There's a quest over here. Let's grab this quest right here. What can I do for you? Oh, nice. This quest is telling me to go over here, which there was another quest over here. I'm getting to kind of two stones, two rocks, one stone kind of deal. And the blacksmith. Uh, blacksmith is in like the dwarf district, I think. Yeah, dwarven district. So after I get all this complete, I'll probably get some some copper or silver along the way, completing this quest. You need something? So available quest. Safe travels. And drop off that quest. See you around. And now this is sending me over here. Look at this, like a little chain. This uh, level 15 quest back here. And that's the worst on effort, so we don't need any PvP. 
And there's a quest back here that requires level 4, but it's a level 15 quest, so we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about that. I buy and trade. Help you find something? Okay, we turn in that Fair quest. Well. And we level 7. Light bless awesome, you. awesome. And we got that last quest over in the mage quarter. Dang, I thought they gave me a bag there for a second. I was like, what? Give me a bag. Nice, nice, nice. Wave. Hey there. And okay. Look at us right up here. That guy's fast. Oh, it's a hunter. Yeah, he has aspect of the cheetah. That thing is making him zoom in right now. Okay, quest guy right here. Enchanting. So, while we do have this thing that increases our enchanting skill by 15, for paladins, there's not much that enchanting is going to offer you on the leveling process for survivability or just items in general. Uh, enchanting is very intensive as far as math materials. So all the greens that you find instead of um, instead of selling them for money and selling them for, you know, get silver and stuff for your skills, you would be disenchanting and then no one's buying your materials, right? Because you don't have access to the auction house in hardcore. And people are dying. I see a lot of people die to Black Rock. I think that's in um, Red Ridge, right? Yeah, Red Ridge Mountain. I think the uh, fastest way to Dwarven is this way. Dude, there's a panda. Pandaria. Okay. Oh, there's a guard. I'm pretty sure I know where the blacksmith is. Well, let's go ahead and... Wait, wait, first aid guy's over here. First aid guy's in the square. So we're gonna go pick up first aid too. First aid is important. I don't care what class you are. I can get rid of these... Probably from my spacebar now, my uh, that might, because it's all controlled by Pally Buff, Pally Power. So that way I'm not accidentally buffing anybody, accidentally. Uh, first aid should be over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna check out the board, dude, in just a second, just because. Oh, one silver, not bad. One silver is not a bad price for first aid. Okay, so what quest is this right here? Need help. Piercing light. Oh, defeat hogger. Ooh, holy strike. Okay. Be careful. Okay, I'm actually really happy I got that quest right now. Because, um, imagine I didn't pick it up. I wouldn't even know to take out hogger for this quest. So that is cool. Very cool. Um,. That I do have a quest that is level 15 for Hogger, but I get an ability. I get Holy Strike. So I'm actually pretty pumped for that. I am pretty pumped. And Desolence is lower level than Badlands. Badlands, I feel, is like 37 plus. Like, Desolence, you can usually get in there a little over 30, like a little over 30. Okay, mining, I'm pretty sure it's over here on the left. Somebody died right here. Okay, so is this mining? This is mining. Okay, so we got the mining Wait, supplier. You need a mining pickaxe. Go ahead and move it actually right there. Because it's going to be always be with us, right? And then up here, we have the mining trainer himself. Whoa. I jumped off prematurely there. Here we 
we can't actually accept it. There we go. And we should get the fine minerals ability now. So fine minerals right here. Blacksmith expert. Doesn't matter who you talk to. There we go. Okay, so now we have Blacksmith. Honestly, because we will never die, I honestly don't need to have fine metals on my bar. And I think that's everything. There's another quest over here. I should honestly check that out. Just because while the other one said level 15, if I had not checked it out, I wouldn't even know I would get. Oops, somebody died. Oh no, that somebody said moo. I thought somebody said no. Okay. Guys, okay, so let's run this way. Someone just did the Anixia quest. I think that's what that is. Imagine if I was in the room over there turning some quests and all these dragons start appearing. I ran way past where I need to go. Okay, so blacksmithing. We're going to be probably making waste sharpening stones first. Yeah, first swords and stuff. Oh, shoot. Entered combat and left combat. That's scary. That's scary. <laughs> Imagine just running in there and dying just because wrong wrong place, wrong time. Oh, this is hey there. Uh, you bring me a library script and I can give you a copy of one of the available books. Like what? What is this? See you later. That's a dumb quest. Okay. So all my Stormwind quests are complete. I can go ahead and hearth out of here. Okay, there's not a single thing in here that I need anymore. Okay, we're back in Goldshire. How are you? Turn this quest in. See you around. I just got the select. Oh, this, huh? Water. Okay. Okay, so now we're back in Goldshire. I'm going to pick Light up this quest. Light bless you. What can I do for you? Turn in quest, pick up quest, you know, all the nine yards. Quest over that way, there's quests over this way. Let's just buy. I also have to sell some stuff really quick too. Okay, so let's take a... Uh, Oh, there it is, right there. What can I do for you? Okay. That quest. And there's a quest over here. Hey there, for the lines. And there's a quest over this way. Over here somewhere, right? I see it right there. Is it inside? Oh, it must be upstairs. No, it's over here. Oh, it's this guy right here. Great to meet you. Be good. Okay. Well, we got our things. Oh, we got to get a chew toy. Uh, matter of trust. So, chew toy. Okay, so chew toy. Chew toy is a bone. Yep, chew toy is a bone. Well, over have? here, we can also sell our angle bobs. This. I guess I'll keep the spring water. I doubt I will need it. But hey. What's this from? I don't care about that.
I Dwarven Mild. How much are those? Uh, Dwarven Mild. The round. Greetings. For the Alliance. What are you looking for? What am I looking for? I honestly don't know. Oh, right there. It's five silver. Like all my money. I'll have to do that quest later on. It's not going to be a priority right now. Okay, so let's drop, um... What was it called? Matter of Trust? We can abandon that one for now. We'll get that one later. Okay, priority. Lost Sheep. Okay. What can I do for you? Safe travel. King's honor, friend. Wait, there's a, what? There's a quest turn in? Oh, yeah. Well met. A fishy peril. Go with honor, friend. And then... And me where? Over here? Okay, we'll get that at level 10. Yeah, this stuff down here is like level 6 and stuff. And let's just make a new window. Stuff. This seems like it's pretty crowded. It's just lots of stuff going on. Oh. Okay. Am I getting chased by something? That's not ready yet. Turns out I was getting chased by something. And we got kobolds over there. We have to do. And this is sheep quest. I see that sheep right there. We just have to find sheep. Come with me if you want to live. Okay. Whoops, it is. What the heck? I don't have a target. I don't have a target. I need a target. A target. Of course you do. Let's take out some cobwebs. Let's take out some more cobwebs. Oh, these are the tunnels. I see these guys taking out people all the time. In classic, these things are just the menace. Between Defiance and Kobolds, the tunnelers, people were going left and right. Okay, let's see here. There's another one over here. Looks like this guy might... Oh, he's going for the sheep. He's going to get attracted to this guy. Oh, no. There we go. And these guys do spawn fairly quickly. That's something we're going to have to be aware of. And... Okay, looks like we're going down. There's a sheep right here. Lots of deaths over here. It's too far away. That's still recharging. We're gonna pull out here with our judgment. How do you get the new area of a rock island? New area of a rocky. I don't know if I'll go to any new areas. Unless it's like Do I have mining up? Yeah, I do have fighting minerals up. I just see somebody mining over there. I don't even see it on my map, just because it's probably packed with so much stuff here already. The spell isn't ready yet. Oh, they're level 22. Looking for copper. This guy's trying to go up a wall. <laughs> Ooh, harvest watch. You got to take it. Took somebody out. Can't cast that yet. We need the sheep too. 
No. Yeah, just disappearing. That's a rogue. That's still recharging. Let's see. Seven. Wow. Looks like there's a sheep that spawns here. Only one, though. Got some rough stone from these guys, which is always like a nice little plus. I don't have a target. I'm out of range. I'm out of range. You're out of range. I get it. I get it. What? Get that sheep real quick. And since we have a... Uh... Wait, come with me if you want to live. Since we have a sword, let's make ourselves a rough sharpening stone. We could put this on our sword right now. Kind of increase our damage a bit there. That was Too all from the away. stone. That spell isn't ready yet. Well, this guy's using a shovel. These guys must drop shovels. That's still retreating. Just need gold dust from them now. Oh no, we need gold dust and candles. Yet. We can have one without the other. Yep, we got one. Oh, no, we got both. That's still recharging. Got an auto attack and then heal. Auto attack. Spirit scroll. A sheep should be up. If it is. Come with me if you want to live. I'm not trying to have some random druids and get me killed on a pole. That's still recharging. Oh, okay, I see. Dungeons are safer than solo questing unless you kill a green mob. I feel like with questing, at least you're in control. Just don't go into caves unless you absolutely have to and you've clearly out-leveled the area. Like, these guys are yellow to me. I honestly should have taken on more than two of them. Or just one in general, right? In most cases, when you're fighting anything that's yellow to you, you really don't want to fight more than one. Potentially, no more than two. Depending on your, on your weapon scale and armor and all that, your gear. Well, you might not see that they hurt you too much when they're fighting you individually. It's just that constant togetherism. <laughs> they, did, they put a lot of pressure on you. Um, there's, a, there's a note over here. Copper. Let's go ahead and get copper. There it is right there. Copper should take priority. This is what's gonna allow us to get better weapons, better armor. I can't loot that right now. I can't loot that right now. I can't loot that right now. No. I'm out of oh, range. Have that. Took a while for that dot to claim it. Okay. Looks like everything's getting hit at the moment. There we go. That's still recharging. Oh. 
Dude, this guy got snapped. Level 23. Holy cow. I need a target. I'll take it off your hands. No. Gotta get for saving somebody, right? It's too far away. Too far away. Come with me now. Hey. I can't cast that yet. I'm out of range. What? How do you dodge? Another node over here. I see it right there. Let's get it quickly, right? Before somebody else snags it. Oop, failed. Funnel rat track behind us. We want to get to the other side of this real quick. What the heck? I'm failing so much. That's it? Okay. I can't cast that yet. You can't cast that. Wow, they're trying to do ST. What level are they? Level 51? That's dangerous. That is dangerous. Where's my sheep? Got it. You want it? Fine. Uh, we just need one more speckle. Oh, somebody's here with a wolf. Need one more gold dust. Uh, there's our last one right there. That spell isn't ready yet. This is our last one right here. Oh. Okay, that's it. What's all this stuff? Better chest. Oh, there's the one inside. There is some iron inside of there. I have another quest called Fargo Mine. That spell isn't ready yet. What's the quest? Scout the Fargo Mine. Okay, so I have to actually go in here and scout it. I can't pass that yet. Hopefully, I don't have to scout too far. Completed. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's see What's that mine. There's mining somewhere over here somewhere. I can't cast that yet. Like right next to me, but I don't see it. That's still recharging. Okay. This is like right here. It must be above us or below us. I don't know. Okay. Either way, I'm at I am out of here. And what do you need? Once upon a sheep, okay. And delicious pie. Something after me? Yep, it is. Isn't ready yet. It's too far away. How do I get the dark shores from Stormwind? There's a Stormwind boat. Oh. That is pretty cool. So there is a boat that takes you from Stormwind to uh, Darkshore, it looks like. I'm gonna I pick up you? these quests right here. Farewell. How are you? See you later. 
quest in here as Need well. Go with honor, friend. Okay, and what's this quest? Delicious pumpkin pie quest. Delicious pumpkin pie. Bring one delicious pumpkin pie. If you could ask those uh Stonefield Farm. Stonefield Farm. We're in the Stonefield Farm, so there must be a vendor over here. Hello. A I vendor here. Target. King's honor, friend. Oh, they're having me collect the pumpkins so that I can turn into pie. Okay, hoggers over there. I'm not quite at that level. We're gonna run back this way and look for sheep along the way. Find some sheep along the way. Oh, there's a sheep right there. Hardcore death, a tarantula has killed me in Alther Mill Red Ridge. Yeah, man, Red Ridge takes out a lot of people. If you're not expecting it, Red Ridge can be very deadly. Between the Black Rock guys, uh, there's a lot of them on the, the northern side. There's also whelps. And in the cave, there's a whole bunch on the on the other side. I'm going to swap to my sword and board for a little bit to kind of train that up as well. Actually, I can kind of wait probably on that. It's just because I have this, uh, what's it called? I have my weapon enchanter out with the sharpening stone, so I'll wait a bit. That's complete. I thought that there's another quest over here. Oh, this guy. Can I help you? Basically, it exchanges for a shiny apple. We don't need that quest on my log area. Quest over here. For the young lovers. That inside there, yep, it is. Okay, Hello. pick up this quest. Have a good one. Chunks of boar meat. That seems simple enough. Let's go ahead and take out some boars. Still recharging. I haven't seen any shorts down here. Oh, there's one over there. I need a target. Ooh. That's fast. I can't cast that. Yet. But I'm faster. Oh, that guy didn't drop me nothing. I'm a good days. I'm not even spun around. I may have. I may have actually spun around an accident there. Okay. Couple more boars. Let's grab it. Swords with rabbits. I'm not sure if I'm able to get more boars. Yeah, it looks like there's boars elsewhere. So I'm just gonna go this way and get some uh, sheep along the way. I think I only need sheep. One more sheep. Sounds like the music. This one a bit more hardcore. Oh, look at this! Look at all this death right here. Death level 16. Death level 13. Death level 36. To level 28. Death level 17. To level 20. Oh, I, I see what's happening right now. I'm using my one-hander. Come on, hit him. Oh, there's that sheep. Come with me now. Two more sheep. Come with me now. Here. Another sheep over there. 
We also need boars. Yeah, there's boars around here too. We'll take out this boar here. Uh, yeah, there's a couple boars in the area. Oh, I thought he was gonna hit him. And people are dying like crazy. We should have like a death counter. Some way of making a death counter so I can see just how many people get taken out in the process of uh each time we're streaming during the leveling process, just how many people get taken out. That was a sheep over here. So these guys are level eight. I think I'm in combat with something. Because I have that whole combat thing up there at the moment. I can't see my level, which means I'm in combat. Okay. Oh, let's see, now I'm level 7. I'm no longer in combat, so I must have been in combat or something. So for the boar, so now we just need sheep. Okay, what else we can we do in the meantime? Essentially just a sheep quest here. And delicious pies. Oh, we gotta get the pies over here. What level is that area? I don't know. Huh. Hmm. Where's all these dang sheep? Ah, oh, I see sheep. Nope, that was a player. Oh no, there's a sheep right there. Well, let's get that sheep then. Hey, sheepish. I thought that was another sheep, but just another player. Come here, little sheep. I wonder if this thing will attack me. Nope. Okay, we just need one more sheep. Yep, yeah, you would do one attack me after all, huh? I put in a good word for you. I said you didn't want to attack me. What the heck? Where'd you come from? That spell isn't ready yet. Man, I was rocking bags there for a good minute in in the cave back there, the starting zone. And now, I haven't got a single, single thing in quite a while. I need one more sheep. So, let's go back down this way and we'll find one more sheep. I need to get closer. Oh, right there yet. it is, right there. There's one right there. So this will complete this quest. And then we're going to go back to the city and turn in all of our quests. There's a quest way over there too, but if I run over there, I just have to run back, and I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be some quest that sends me over there. But no, no, not a problem. And our time just hit 2 a.m. here, so I am actually going to be calling it quits, guys, because 2 a.m. is my cutoff time. Uh, we've been streaming now for a little over an hour, so like an hour interval. It's kind of nice, you know, don't push it too crazy. This is hardcore after all, after all, right? The longer you kind of push yourself sometimes, you try and like, uh, take shortcuts sometimes, right? Upper pants, is that better than mine? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and finish turning everything in. And then we'll do a quick recap because uh, we did get a few levels. We started today at level four. We are now past that. Uh, Let's this guy. Sell everything crazy. Don't need that. Uh, mouse and I, we might need that. Um, any red apples?
Okay, let's turn the rest of the stuff in. Over here. Lula. What can I do for you? See you later. Oh, thanks. We got another bag. An eight slot bag. Very nice. We actually got an eight slot bag. Holy cow. I did not expect that. Hello. So we were just talking Safe about. Travels. Hey, I didn't get any more bags. And bam, to my surprise, we got a bag given to us. That is always a nice one right there. Okay, so let's go ahead. There's one more quest. Did we just level? Yeah, we're level eight. Okay, so let's go train now. So there's that paladin quest. And that's the last quest in the area that we want, besides that matter of trust, which we're not gonna do right now. Need help? Let's go ahead and duty to the light. Be careful. Greetings. And we get parry. Get purify. Disease and poisons. Okay, divine protection. Hammer of justice and crusader strike. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, excellent. We got a number of abilities right now. Uh, so purify. I put that right there. Hammer of justice. Put that right there. And then divine protection. Put that actually over here. We'll go like this. And then Crusader Strike. I do have my auto attack binded with number one. So all we're gonna do here is just throw in Crusader Strike in here. Uh, no, that's fine. Rank one is good. Rank one Crusader Strike is fine. Save that, save that. What else have we learned? Um, purify. I think we're good. I can't attack that. I think we're good. So let's go test out. Let's go take out test out Crusader Strike. Uh, this ability, yeah, it just turns Crusader Strike now. That should be our Crusader Strike ability. So it doesn't work the same way as in the Burning Crusade. This works by doing an instant attack that does like a set damage, so it does 12 damage up front, and then also increases the amount of holy damage taken by 6 per Crusader Strike attack applied. So here for example, I could run up to this wolf, I'm out of range. hit him with that instant attack, you can see it right there. Kind of use it to finish him off. Um, is that coming for me? No? I could run it in here. Crusader Strike. It applies that dot and then judge him for just a little bit more extra judge damage. Yeah, pretty interesting. It kind of adds to something like um, that you wouldn't otherwise have. I'm out of range. I'm out of range. And obviously, you can see my man is being used up pretty quickly from it. But while it is. Um, it is a nice little insect attack. It, it just, you know, it, it can't increase that damage from Blessed of Might. It's uh, it's a set damage. If I auto attack this guy, it'll only go 11 or 12, regardless of my AP. He dodged it. There's 11. Try this again. Does it do 11 or 12? So auto attack and 11. And 11. Yeah, so it looks like it does 11 damage. It says 12 on the tooltip. But yeah, it looks like it's mostly just doing about 11 damage per time. Which isn't bad, you know, just 11 damage. The instant attack does 11. So if a mob is like almost dead like this, I can just smack him for 11. Uh, if he had less than 11 life, that would be better, right? But in this case, he didn't go down right away. It just kind of gives something else to the paladins that they don't already have. You know, some other attack on their toolbar. In most cases, that 11 damage isn't going to make or break the fight. Because you would still have taken out that, 
that mob in the next auto attack, regardless if you had a uh, Crusader strike them or not. So watch if I, I need to get closer. pull this guy. <clears throat> if I don't Crusader strike him, he'll he'd have still be left with like three life or two life. It still would have taken me that extra hit to take him down. Uh, but sometimes you could always be like, okay, what if you had done this instead of him with a Crusader Strike and judged him right after? Oh, wait. So I judge for 28. With, with, let's see what I judge without Crusader Strike on the target. So. Um, here's nothing on the target. I'm just going to go ahead and judge right off the bat. I need to get closer. I did 27. Okay, so that's a bad test. I feel like I did more damage to the Crusader Strike. Oh, here I could instantly kill him. In that case, you know, Finisher, Crusader Strike is kind of nice for that. Uh, okay, so that is going to be it. So our recap real quick. We went from level 4 to level 8 in Elwyn Forest. We still have a number of quests to complete. And we have that Paladin quest at level 15 to get Holy Strike. So on top of Crusader Strike, we also get Holy Strike at level 15-ish whenever we defeat Hogger. So if we take out Hogger right now, we can technically get it. Uh, but, you know, it probably will probably just end up dying. Uh, so we do have a number of quests to complete still, all the way up to, you know, from 6 to 10 long, taking place all over the zone. Uh, something else that we did in this, uh, in this video is we picked up blacksmithing. Uh, blacksmithing, I'm just going to go ahead and make some sharpening stones while we're kind of sitting here chatting. Uh, to go with blacksmithing, we did pick up mining here to kind of, um, you know, help. You know, obviously you can't really do much blacksmithing without without materials for mining. So we took up mining as our second profession. And then we also pick up first aid. So we'll be using that to make bandages in the future. So while I have downtime, while I'm not streaming, I will more than likely just kind of use the time in between streams. To kind of level professions off stream and uh, kind of focus on the leveling process while we're streaming so that is going to be it for me guys if you guys did enjoy the stream definitely go down below like comment subscribe otherwise uh join me once again in episode three as we continue fighting our way through elwyn forest all the way to level 60 where we do plan on becoming hardcore at level 60 doing dungeons doing raids as a paladin so if you guys are looking forward to that definitely subscribe and follow along and i will see you guys in the next video so that will be it have a good one all and bye bye oh not that one <laughs> this one all right guys that's it for me have a good one bye bye